sent me this for an item review. This is for the M4 Mac Mini uh, aluminum stand hub, if I may. So again, this is the Quizlab aluminum stand hub. This has a USB 4 SSD enclosure. So it's not only a stand, it also acts as an enclosure. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. Again, aluminum sand hub with USB 4 SSD enclosure. This is for the M4 Mac Mini, okay? Not the older one, as you can see right here. And it does say here, it has 3.5 millimeter audio jack, USB-A up to 480 um, Mbps, megabytes per second. It says durable and sturdy, so we'll find that out. And then at the back, same thing. You can see the uh, the image right here. It has USB A 2.0, two of them, one M.2 NVMe slot. So uh, it's compatible with 2230, 2242, 2260, and 2280. Okay, and uh, one USB A 2.0 times one. So I guess in total there's three, uh, two at the front, one at the back. And again, one more for the host for the uh, 40 gigabits per second that's gonna be connected to the M4 Mac Mini. Okay, gotta stop talking. Let's open this up. Ooh, okay, that was good. Okay, right off the bat, we see right here, there's like a sphere here where you're gonna be putting the M4 Mac Mini. This is the main uh, item right here. Okay, I didn't think it was going to be this small and uh, a bit sleek actually, to be honest. So at the, at the front, it has some rubber stopper right here for the M4 Mac Mini to not move around. And the good thing about this one, is if you notice there's a hole right here where you can press the power button because you know in m4 mac mini the power button is all the way at the back which is kind of annoying but this is a good uh, or a nice feature right here that you can easily press it without lifting the mac mini okay and then at the bottom you can see there are two screws where you're gonna be opening this one to put the nvme uh storage right here okay so not much into it Front has two USB 2.0, USB A 2.0, two slots right here. And then we have two LED lights right here. One for the 40 uh, gigabits per second and one for the 10 gigabits per second. And the back, we have the audio jack, like I said, and then one USB A 2.0. And then the other one would be the USB C for the host, which will be connected to the uh, Mac Mini, of course. Okay, all right, what is the accessories that's included? Okay, we have the USB C cable. This is, I'm assuming, yeah, pretty sure this is going to be the one for the host because this is pretty short. Yeah, so, you know, this is only long enough to connect to the Mac Mini. So this is one right here, USB-C to USB-C, that way. And then, let me see what this is. I think it's like a screwdriver or the, uh, yeah, the tools, if you don't have any, basically. Yep, it is the tools. Tiny as a Phillips screwdriver right here. Another one is, we have a small, uh, regular i guess you know screwdriver again not the phillips one and we have the thermal paste for the nvme pretty cool oh actually we have two we have two thermal pastes that's included that's appreciated and then we have two extra no not extra we have the uh, nvme mount right here and the screw mount it's really tiny if you can i'm not sure if you can see and then the other one is oh Okay, yeah, the other one, the other tiny screw is for the locking of the uh, NVMe. Okay, pretty cool. What else is here? One last thing is the instructions manual, quick start guide on how to, you know, what what's inside, connectivity, how it looks like, how to do it, safety of use, first time use, and all of that. How to install the SSD. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, NVMe SSD, it's pretty much the same, except for a form factor. Okay, so let's put this to the, um, to the M4 Mac Mini. And actually, you know what? Before we do that, let me open this up using their tools. And uh, I'm gonna check if I have a spare NVMe drive, you know, around that's not being used. Hopefully we can test the NVMe and how the performance on this uh, connectivity, especially 40 gigabits per second. It's a bit of a struggle here. <laughs> okay, there we go. So you can see there's three slots that you can put for the mount of the screwdriver. Um, no, not screwdriver, the screw mount of this one. And uh, actually this is a spare because there's already one here. Can you guys see? There's already one included here. So at least this one is a spare, that's good. And we have a spare of the screwdriver. I just lost it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, let me try to look around if I have a spare NVMe and then I'll be right back. 
But before we do that, uh, I just wanted to show you, we are gonna be using the Crucial T500 NVMe Gen 4. This is a two turbine. This is currently the fastest Gen 4 NVMe on the market right now. Even faster than the uh, Western Digital SN850X. I have the uh, SN850 and then there's the SN850X, which is a little bit more faster for professionals and all that. But as far as all the uh, reviews and all, the T500 from Crucial, two terabyte is currently the fastest Gen 4, other than Gen 5. So let's go to the workstation. All right, so I have my F4 Mac Mini on top of the QuizLab stand hub. But before that, I wanna thank QuizLab for sending this new item and sponsoring the video. So we see the flash drive right here hooked up and it seems to be detected actually. And as you can see, there is the light right there for the 10 gigabits per second turned on. The 40 gigabits per second is not on yet. I haven't put the NVMe on the slot. We're gonna do that in a bit, but let's look at the back. It does, by the way, the M4 Mac Mini does fit right into the uh, stand hub, which is really, really cool. And it's not that uh, tall. Okay, at the back, you can see the USB-C cable, the short cable connected from the host port on the QuizLab to the Thunderbolt uh, port on my M4 Mac Mini. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, there's also a USB port in the middle, uh, at, you know, at the back of the stand hub and the audio jack. So you have an extra there at the back if you need the USB port. Okay, so if you take a look at that, it looks really, really cool. It blends into the uh, Mac Mini. So we are going to be doing a copy to the flash drive and see the uh, performance. Also, the power button is now really, really accessible. Although it's a bit deep actually, to be honest with you, to press, but it's you know a lot better than the previous one without that, where you have to like really lift up the uh, Mac Mini and all that. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's try to copy a one gigabit file to the flash drive. Yep, so you can see it's copying right now. It's less than a minute which is good, right? And this is through that uh, 40 gigabit uh, per second USB-C cable from Mac Mini to the uh, QuizLab um, port, or the, you know, the host port at the back. And it's doing pretty well so far. There's no, not a throttling at the moment. And after this, we are going to test the NVMe on how fast it is, uh, hopefully with the Blackmagic uh, speed test if we can. And it's finished. All right, so we see the NVMe external drive right here. And we're gonna initialize this one. We're gonna basically, we're gonna reformat this one. So let me just uh, probably name this Mac Mini speed test or something. Oh, and race. So it's gonna go a few minutes. And uh, with the power of video editing, I'm gonna see you in now. Uh, storage, or oh, select target first which will be the, uh, the external drive that we just reformatted. It's Mac Mini Speed Test. Yep, this one, open. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much pretty good to go. Let's start. So this NVMe, theoretically, if it's hooked up to the NVMe slot directly to the motherboard, it can uh, go up as high as 7,400 Mbps. Currently right now it's at 3100, just shy of 3200 Mbps on write and read at 3075.9 Mbps. I'm pretty sure it's because of the 40 gigabit USB-C cable that's uh, throttling or limiting the entire read and write. I'm gonna be testing this out. I'm gonna be swapping it on my gaming computer later on. I have the Western Digital SN850 on my gaming computer. I'm gonna swap that out and we'll see probably in a later video and stuff. But yep, here we go. You can see it says here, 40 gigabytes of USB connection when used at uh, NVMe enclosure can achieve up to 3000 to 3800 Mbps. That is because of the USB 4 or Thunderbolt 3 or 4 uh, limitations. So, and then let's try to copy a file to the NVMe. And okay, that was way too fast. We're gonna try a bigger uh, file this time. Let me see. All right, let's copy a 10 gigabit file to the NVMe. 
and that looks pretty fast and okay i don't know that was like five seconds definitely to less than 10 seconds that's crazy all right so there you go this uh, stand hub for the m4 mac mini is uh, pretty good actually to be honest with you you have some space right here it's easy to press the power button and you have two usb a if you need uh two usb a uh, ports actually three there's two in the front and one at the back if you need it also there's 3.5 uh, millimeter audio check if you need that if, if your uh, speaker is still using that i didn't really test the uh audio jack because i have an external tag everything is digital and all that but i'm pretty sure this works right here what i'm really uh glad about is the usb-c connection to the mac mini which is 40 gigabits per second i think it's almost like thunderbolt 3 or yeah if i'm not mistaken um so the nvme when you put the, the nvme here it really feels like it's an extension it's like it doesn't feel like it's an external uh hard drive or external ssd the, it's pretty fast although on the black magic speed test even though i'm using the crucial t500 um, nvme gen 4 theoretically that has a max uh, speed of 7.4 mbps but we are limited to the 40 gigabits uh, per second usb c transfer speed that's why you're, you're seeing around 3000 three normally if 40 gigabits per second theoretical you'll be expecting around 3000 to 3800 uh, megabits per second did i get it right yeah anyways it's 3000 to 3800 mbps megabits per second typically on a real world test although i think some can achieve a thunderbolt probably can achieve like five gigabits per second don't quote me on that i you know i'm just like checking it and based on experience and all but i digress so yeah and then the two usb 2.0 speeds is this is basically it's 10 gigabits per second and you can see the lights actually there's 40 gigabits per second lighting up and the uh, 10 gigabits per second lighting up if you're connected to both right so overall this is pretty good the only thing i wish that this has because i have a very niche setup i have a triple monitor 4k and the, the you know for for the sides are 4k 6 60 hertz while the main monitor is 4k 240 hertz it's not really a downside but potential downside especially for me if you have a very very niche or rare use case is that you're going to be taking up one of the uh, usb c or thunderbolt port on the mac mini and the m4 mac mini has three at the back right and i am currently using three of them because they are hooked up to a kvm which is display ports input so unfortunately i can't i'm not using the hdmi port on the mac mini so i'm using all three thunderbolt ports and if i use this then i'm gonna lose one monitor <laughs> only using two monitors when i was uh, record you know when i was reviewing this and stuff but I'm pretty sure 99% of you people won't have that problem to begin with. You know, um, if you need to use, if you have a triple monitor, you can use the uh, HDMI port on the Mac mini directly to the monitor. I just have a KVM which has display port and all that. So it's pretty complicated. Anyways, I digress. What do you guys think um, on this one? I think it's pretty good. And if you guys decide to you buy this Quizlab M4 Mac mini stand hub slash extension, because this is the best way to be able to get a, an expansion of your storage for your Mac Mini cheaper, you know, the cheaper way instead of like paying the Apple tax with an SSD upgrade. So I'm gonna put the link down below and it's gonna be a referral link. So, you know, it doesn't cost you anything, but if you decide to buy, just use my referral link. It's gonna help a lot. But that's it for this video and uh, I'll see you on the next review. <laughs>